Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the deep bilateral brotherly relations and ways to further bolster them in many fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani, delivered the letter to the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Fahan Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in Abu Dhabi to attend the Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2021, held at Yas Marina Circuit. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the UAE, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nayan, as well as a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the public holidays of the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, government departments and public institutions will be closed on Thursday and Friday 16th and 17th of December 2021 respectively. The circular also stipulates that as Friday coincides with an official public holiday, Sunday will be given in lieu. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the positive results of victorious Bahrain Paris FC. He hailed the recent win of the team against Valencia 4-1 and affirmed that the achievement will be a motive for more accomplishments. He praised the continuous achievements of the team under the victorious Bahraini logo, which has become a distinguished logo in the league. His Highness wished the team further success. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's personal representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in line with the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the sixth Nas bin Hamad International Award for Youth Creativity, organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, was held this evening. The ceremony, which was held at the American University, was attended by a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies and members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, in addition to members of the Diplomatic Corps, jury members and winners. On this occasion, Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the award came in line with the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the need for Bahrain to carry out its duties towards the international community and its interest in supporting the global youth movement and providing the appropriate ground for all the creative youth of the world to highlight their pioneering projects in the areas of the award. His Highness noted that the award reflected the enormous capabilities of the world youth and their assistance on achieving their ambitions in various fields and demonstrated to all the world that young people can be relied upon in construction and modernization processes. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that with great participation of the youth in this award showcases the creativity and excellence that these young people possess and enable them to compete, pointing out that the award was found to embrace youth, provide the appropriate space and create the suitable environment for them to present their projects. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated all the winners of the competitions, stressing that the youth are the biggest winner as a result of participating in this award, praising at the same time the efforts of the jury, which exerted great efforts in evaluating the presented projects. His Highness also lauded the organising measures taken by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs that contributed to the success of the award. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honoured the winners. The ceremony began with the Royal Anthem and then recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. After that, a video was displayed telling the success stories of the award and the participation of the youth. Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ayman bin Tafiq al-Mawaya, delivered a speech 
in which they express pride in Bahrain's organisation of the award that meets the aspirations and hopes which the Kingdom shares with the international community to achieve goals in sponsoring youth ideas and projects. The Minister noted that the Kingdom launched the Nas bin Hamad International Award for Youth Creativity in 2011 as an embodiment of the vision of His Majesty the King, which aims to build a prosperous future for various countries of the world by putting hope in the hearts of young people. Amawayad added that the award and the work, supervised by His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad al Khalifa, are at the forefront of global developments in the field of youth that contribute to empowering young people and enrichment of sustainable development. He further elaborated that the award, in its first edition, sought to spot creativity among young people locally, but today, in its sixth edition, it has become an international one, with more than 8,003 participations from 127 countries. The Minister also said that this achievement came, despite the challenges imposed by the corona pandemic on the whole world, but the continuation of the award is an exemplary manner, since the beginning of its launch until today, is a clear confirmation of Bahrain's keenness to play a global role in investing in youth. On behalf of the jury members, Dr Yusuf al Bataki expressed his thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for patronising the award that reflects His Highness's keen interest in supporting the youth. Then a show was presented entitled I Have Hope, which tells the story of an ambitious young man who dreams of achieving his innovations and dreams, but encounters many obstacles, including those who frustrate him. However, his persistence made him continue on his journey and overtake them to achieve his dream of winning the Nasser bin Hamad Prize. The Bahrain Olympic Committee, in cooperation with His Highness Sheikh Khalid's media office, organised an honouring ceremony, where First Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honoured runner Mariam Jamal with a gold medal after winning the London Olympic Games. After that, His Highness welcomed the audience and wished them all further success. The Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Anissif, congratulated the audience for this honourable achievement, affirming that this success is a huge accomplishment and that Mariam Jamal was the first Gulf woman to receive this medal. Mariam Jamal expressed thanks and appreciation to the Bahrain Olympic Committee, headed by His Highness Sheikh Khalid, for the continuous support. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism received the CEO of the Abu Dhabi Security Exchange as part of his visit to the Kingdom with CEO of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in attendance. The bilateral ties were discussed during the meeting, along with the efforts of the two leaderships in further enhancing them. 
The Minister presented the Kingdom's capabilities to host promising projects, especially in the fields of commerce and finance. As part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state and as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramehi, today inaugurated the National Day Festival at the Heritage Village in the Southern Governorate. The opening ceremony was attended by a number of Information Ministry's officials, guests and scores of citizens and residents. The minister and the attendees toured the village that included many events and activities, musical shows by folk bands and a market with various shops and products. The entertainment programmes were aimed at providing an opportunity for children to enjoy the atmosphere of the Heritage Village and its permanent architectural models that reflect different phases of the history of Bahrain. Our Mehi extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as to the Bahraini people, marking the glorious national days, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the Kingdom with security, progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. The Minister pointed out that the Information Affairs Ministry is organising the festival to highlight the importance of the Heritage Village, which is a national monument whose various facilities tell a part of the Kingdom's history and its development march, noting that the village was built upon directives from His Majesty the King. He extended thanks and appreciation to all those who contributed to the organisation of the festival in a way that reflects the festivities prevailing during the Kingdom's glorious national days, as well as the committed public celebrations that indicate the ongoing recovery. The Minister stressed that the celebration of the Kingdom's National Days is an opportunity to recall the landmark achievements attained by the Kingdom under His Majesty King Hamid's leadership, making Bahrain a role model in various fields and enabling it to play a leading regional and international role while adhering to deep-rooted national identity principles. Aramehi highly valued the dedicated patriarchal efforts exerted by Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister citing the Kingdom's successes, especially in defeating the novel coronavirus pandemic COVID-19 and mitigating its impacts on various sectors. The Minister paid tribute to all frontliners, thanks to whose sense of patriotism and dedicated efforts, the Kingdom is on the right track towards recovery. He said this embodies an epic success story achieved thanks to the wise leadership and visions of His Majesty the King support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the full backing of the Bahraini people. The National Day Festival in the Heritage Village will run until December the 20th from 4 to 10 p.m. every day. The Ministry of Interior celebrated the International Human Rights Day, which falls on the 10th of December. This came during a legal seminar which included a presentation of the achievements and projects accomplished in this field based on the directives of Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to work to spread the culture and respect for human rights principles among the employees of the Ministry of Interior. The seminar was held under the slogan, Human Rights in the Ministry of Interior, a Vision and a Reality, patronised by Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and in the presence of a number of members of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Assistant Under Secretary for Legal Affairs, Brigadier General Hamoud bin Saad Hamoud, gave a speech at the beginning of the seminar, in which he valued the support of the Minister of Interior for all efforts aimed at protecting human rights, stemming from the values and teachings of Islam, customs and traditions, noting Bahrain's contribution to the development of laws related to human rights. Attorney General Dr Ali bin Fadl al Buenian announced that the public prosecution is launching an initiative entitled CARE, which integrates the efforts of the Kingdom's institutions concerned with child, women and family care. The initiative is joined by a number of national institutions and societies under the goal of protecting children, women and families. Officials affirmed at a press conference that they are performing investigations to record these cases of mistreatment against children, women and families, and they are working on resolving them. This initiative comes as a great milestone within the scope of justice as it goes beyond the traditional duty of the public prosecution where we will be focusing on extracting the reasons that led to the crime during the investigation procedures whether they were social or economical or psychological and determining the necessary remedies and aspects of care 
by the cooperation of various governmental and international agencies through their contribution with programs of uh, the field of child, women, and family care. We are proud to be a part of such project, and we hope that it will have a significant outcome in reducing crime and to remedy its causes. The Public Prosecution's initiative, CARE, comes after conducting a thorough study on several cases to analyze causes and remedies to crimes committed by children, women, or within the scope of the family. This initiative started by the Public Prosecution with the help of different government bodies and various international organizations, aims to overcome the traditional role of the public prosecution in investigating crimes and referring any wrongdoers to the appropriate courts into finding the causes of the crimes, whether they be psychological, economic, or social causes, with the help of social and psychological experts to providing available ways to remedy those causes and offer the appropriate services and care to ensure that anyone who commits a crime does not go back to it. To speak more about the initiative, we are joined on the phone by Assistant Prosecutor Ibrahim al -Fadala. Hello, Mr. Ibrahim. Can you tell us Hello. about the procedures followed to achieve the goals of the initiative of the public prosecution? In reference to the role of the public prosecution as a representative of a society, the public prosecution role is deeper than just investigating the offender and bringing him to trial without looking at the reasons for his crime. The public prosecution work during the investigation procedures and with the help of social and psychological experts to monitor cases of families, battered women and child delinquency to find out any psychological, economic or social reasons that can be treated in order to prevent the reasons of the crime. However, in cases where women are in need of care, our role is to ensure that, uh, that they are treated lawfully according to their needs. However, when the penalty has been decided, the execution and subsequent care office at the family and child prosecution follow up on women and child related cases to ensure that their rights are given accordingly and lawfully. Assistant Prosecutor Ibrahim Afadala, thank you for being with us. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed its deep regret and denunciation that the Lebanese capital Beirut hosted a press conference for hostile personnel designated on supporting and sponsoring terrorism lists with the purpose of broadcasting and promoting abusive and malicious allegations against the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that a strong formal protest had been submitted to the Lebanese government regarding this unacceptable act which is a flagrant violation of their principles of respect for the sovereignty of states and non-interference in their internal affairs in contravention of international charters and the Charter of the League of Arab States. The Ministry added that an official nota verbal of protest was sent to the General Secretariat of the League of Arab States in this regard, containing the Kingdom of Bahrain's denunciation of this unfriendly step by the Lebanese side. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs called on the Lebanese government to prevent such reprehensible practices that aim to offend the Kingdom of Bahrain and are inconsistent with the most basic diplomatic norms and the brotherly relations between the two people.